Now, as millions of households facing uncertainty over their rising energy bills, today sees the launch of the first energy bill calculator. With the price cap going up on the 1st of April, the calculator works out how much your bills will increase by and whether there'll be a shortfall after taking into account the government's subsidy. Well, joining me now is Jane Lucy, founder and chief executive of Labrador, the company behind the calculator. Uh, thanks for joining us, uh, Jane. Um, millions of Britons, of course, uh, have been in a state about how they're going to cope with this. And today's programme has all been about the re real terms wage decrease, uh, effectively, not being able to keep up with inflation. We've got a cost of living crisis. How does your beat the price cap scheme work exactly? Well, first of all, um, what we do is give households information about what to expect with a price cap. So, you know, the government figures that uh, bills will go up by 54%, um, rising to in the region of £1,971 a year. That is an average. And we're seeing for some households, and in fact, bills could go up by in excess of £4,000 a year. So that is a massive difference. And, and until today, when we launched this personalised calculator, households have been in the dark not knowing what to expect come 1st of April and how to budget for that. So that's the first thing um, in terms of this tool being available. But the second is, you know, as you would know, um, there aren't cheap tariffs to switch to at the moment. So usually people would compare and switch energy to save money, but that's not possible at the moment because of wholesale uh, costs um, and uh, issues around the price cap. And so what we've done at Labrador is because we're a data-driven company, we understand how the market operates and we've identified a number of financial opportunities in how the market is working and exposed those to households to enable them to get paid for energy efficiency. Yeah, yeah, the scheme gives out direct cash payments, doesn't it, if you don't use as much energy as is predicted, I believe. So where does that money come from and, and what's the incentive for you to do that? Sure. Well, there are two financial elements that we've um, identified, which, as I said, we're exposing and making available to households. And, and the first is that if you use less energy, you're using less carbon. Um, and that carries a financial value, uh, as we've seen with COP26 and, and the trend and shift to net zero, uh, reducing carbon um, is valuable. So we're exposing that value and enabling households to get paid for that value in carbon reduction. Secondly, um, the way that the energy market works is that energy suppliers predict how much energy you're going to use. They buy that amount on the wholesale market. And if you end up using more than what they've predicted and bought, then they're either exposed to the most expensive wholesale markets at the last minute or are fined for not having bought enough. So again, if you use less than what they have bought and reserved for you, that carries a financial value. And again, we're exposing that financial value to pay households cash for not triggering that extra cost. Um, th th there are plenty of price comparison sites out there, aren't there, as well? I know, I know what you're providing is different, but there are plenty of price comparison sites out there. Are people likely to even find a good deal right now? No, they're just simply not there. Um, you know, what the price cap has meant has is that suppliers are, you know, have been forced to offer energy uh, at a loss. And so, you know, that's why we've seen so many energy suppliers go bust over the last nine months. And in fact, you know, we'll probably see a few more. Um, and so obviously, you know, if you're selling something at a loss, you're going to want to limit that loss as much as possible. So that's why all the cheap deals have been removed from the market. Now, we, we hope that that's not a, a permanent state of the market. We, we hope that we may see some cheaper tariffs return, you know, from April onwards, but that's yet to be seen. And, and you know, we think that the price volatility is here to stay. Um, you know, we will see the prices increase, not just on 1st of April, but also 1st of October, and now likely actually in between April and October as well. So it, it's even more important for households to be given correct personalised information about what to expect and how best to manage those price changes. Uh, Jane, I want to speak to you a bit about Labrador, actually, before, before we leave it. And, and you've had an extraordinary uh, rise uh, with Labrador. You, you left the company, you've come back to it, and there's been a, another transformation for it. Tell us about that. 
Yeah, so I founded Labrador originally uh, um, a number of years ago. It was the first auto switching service in the market, which again used industry data to provide uh, households with a much um, more accurate uh, and easier service, which um, automatically ensured they were on the cheapest tariff available to them without them having to keep driving that process um, like you have to do with other services. Um, the service got sold a couple of years ago. I then had a stint at Challenger Bank Revolut for a bit, but I really felt like I hadn't finished what I wanted to do with Labrador. And so I actually bought the service back um, with a new team uh, at, just before COVID actually, um, because I'm just so passionate about the opportunities in using data to really empower households and consumers to have a much better deal and, and customer experience. You know, energy is one of our most expensive costs. As I said, that's only going to get worse, particularly with, you know, electrification of transport and heat and so forth. Our bills are just going to keep going up. So it's even more important to uh, empower consumers how to navigate those changes and to get the data and the financial opportunities to work for them without it being complicated and huge barriers of entry. It, it needs to be made easy and accessible to everyone. And uh, the tool that we're launching today, as I said, it's free to everyone. It's at our website, thelabrador.co.uk. It is, applies to every single household in Great Britain, um, and we hope that a lot of people can benefit. Well, good luck with it. Jane Lucy from Labrador, thanks very much indeed. Thank you very much.